Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Wednesday, May the 29th. It's a beautiful day. I'm just down at uh, Toronto Harbour Front. And today I'm looking at um, Open Plotter 3. Several years ago I tested Open Plotter 2 on my Pi Top. The Pi Top is a portable laptop uh, that runs uh, Raspberry Pi 3. So um, Open Plotter 2 worked well. Uh, Open Plotter 3, I used the 32-bit uh, um, starter image. Uh, because the 64-bit I used on the Raspberry Pi 4, so I don't think the 64 would work on the, on the um, 3B. So anyways, I've got the 32-bit image. It seems to be working well. Right now I'm using uh, an RTL with a whip antenna for my AIS. Um, I've got a USB. I've only got two USB ports on the uh, Pi Top. So I've got a USB hub here, and I'm running a USB speaker so we can listen to GQRX. And uh, there's my GPS. Uh, this is an old kit I made. Um, it's got a 12-channel Trimble IC in it and an FTDI a USB driver. And there's the LNA um, patch antenna. What I found was interesting, the FTDI driver was uh, really, really uh, popular. Uh, and um, it doesn't work with Windows 10 or Windows 11. I find that hard to believe. Of course, it works with Raspberry Pi and Linux. But I'm really surprised the driver that was so popular would not be included in Windows. Anyways, that's the way it is. So I'm looking at the um, the chart here for Harborfront. There's the red boat. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. I'm at the Western Gap, and you can see a whole bunch of AIS contacts here all over the uh, Harborfront there. So everything's working pretty well. Um, I'm going to uh, disconnect um, the AIS right now. The AIS and the GPS. Are connected uh, to um, Signal K server, so I'm going to disconnect the AIS so I can use the RTL for GQRX, and we're going to listen to marine weather. See how that comes in. The uh, Raspberry Pi 3B doesn't have the horsepower that the 4B does, so what I do with the GQRX is I cut back the sampling. Normally, I run my sampling at 2.4 mega samples per second, but just not to overload the processor, I cut everything back to about 600 uh, kilo samples per second. Okay, so I've just disconnected the um, RTL from the AIS process, um, so it doesn't show its signal K anymore. And now I'm using GQRX, and I'm just listening to marine weather here on 162.4 megahertz. Tonight, clear. 